the day we're going to be trying to install this Synergy Manufacturing Steering Stabilizer Relocation Bracket onto the Jeep. I have the factory setting. Let me show you guys. You guys can see. All right, there you go. Steering stabilizer is hanging below the tie rod, and it's just not a really good position for it. it it's, it's very vulnerable while off roading. So what I'm gonna do? I bought that kit. I bought it. Uh, I bought the the actual relocation bracket off of eBay, but it was from a. It's brand new. But I bought the tie rod clamp, which you'll need if you have a 2011 and up Jeep Wrangler JK uh, tie rod clamp. Uh, second hand for like $20 so pretty cheap uh, especially it's, it's in good condition it will work um, but they have these hex bolts if you guys can see this camera doesn't focus well but um, and I don't have any ratchet att attachments for the hex key so I might have to go to the store but I'll check my dad's toolbox see if he has anything perfect so I have everything laid out here. Comes with a nice sticker, might be put on later. Some instructions. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into it. It should be a pretty fast install and no problems. But I'm only worried about is I didn't order a I didn't order an aftermarket steering stabilizer and I'm not sure that the stock one will fit in this bracket. So we might have to see and hopefully we luck out. So uh, fingers crossed and let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's start go under there and start disassembling the OEM style of steering relocation or er, steering stabilizer bracket. So I got that bolt out from under here. I got the whole the whole steering stabilizer shock out. Now I got this clamp. Let's see if it will come on. There you go. So I have it marked. I don't know if you guys can see. But it is marked where it is. This is really blurry, sorry for that. But um Yeah. And so now I just gotta take off this clamp. So I should just kind of spread and pry out these these two pieces and it should all come out. I get this clamp off. I slid it all the way from over there and slid it off here in like thinking I could get it off this thinner part of the bar, the tie rod. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go buy an angle grinder and just cut this off. I've been trying to pry it and I just couldn't couldn't get it undone. So I'm just gonna get an angle grinder and just cut it off. I'm not gonna use this piece again, so it should be fine. Since the Jeep JK is out of commission at the moment because I just took away steering stabilizer and a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, you can drive without a steering stabilizer. You don't really need it. I'm just not going to drive with it. I'm just going to drive the ZJ for now. And I love this car. So let's go ahead and get it going. Go to Harbor Freight. Go ahead and buy an angle grinder and maybe some cutoff wheels and some flap discs. Driving this thing has a whole lot of play. I'm turning the wheel this much and nothing is really happening. So, um, yeah, that, that, that is a ZJ experience right there. I ended up getting some grinding wheels, four inch heavy duty angle grinder. Hopefully this lasts somewhat a good long time. This was $20. I'll never count the cost. It's worth all the ass loss. I also had to go to Home Depot to get some uh, cutoff wheels. They didn't have any at Harbor Freight. So I just went ahead and bought some four inch cutoff wheels for the four inch angle grinder. 
So now let's go back to the garage and get that tie rod uh, clamp and steering stabilizer relocation bracket all good to go. So I guess get, let's get finished. So on these bolts, there are nuts that go on the back side. So what I'm going to do is put some red thread locker on these. I won't be taking this off ever, uh, but on the tie rod clamp, you'll see later that I'll put blue thread locker because if I replace this with a beefier aftermarket tie rod, then I'll need to take off that clamp. So uh, to make it easy, I'll just put blue thread locker on that and red thread locker on this. It's up pretty much like that. You'll use the stock bolt for the track bar up here. Let's put some thread locker on the edge right there. That's kind of a lot, but whatever. And then as you screw in, uh, put that washer in and that nut. And these are not lo nylon locking nuts, so uh, that's why I'm also putting the thread locker on. I don't have any problems with this bracket coming undone. So I just torqued down these two bolts to 40 foot pounds. It's kind of a pain, but uh, I just kind of laid kind of that way and got my combination wrench to hold the nut from behind as I tie in through with the torque wrench. Now I'm going to insert the track bar and the bolt. So we're going to go ahead and use the factory bolts that came with it and the flag nut. And this gets torqued down to 125 foot pounds. So it's now time to attach these sway bar or tie rod clamps and so now I want to figure out exactly where to put the tie rod clamp. Sorry if the lighting's off but it's a little hard but I made that mark right there. You line up the edge of the bracket with uh, the line that you made the top of the, where the stabilizer top clamp should go should line up with the with the the bolt right here so right there looks pretty much good I'll show you in a second all right so these hex bolts I use some blue thread locker uh, I might take this off again whenever I upgrade to a beefier tie rod so there you go 20 foot pounds for each of these and uh, there you go so now it's time to actually attach the the steering stabilizer shock. Of course you run into another problem uh, like always when I'm installing stuff. This is the bolt that needs to go through the shock. It won't fit. So I won't be able to use this. Probably gonna need to get a, uh, a different one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to the future when my aftermarket Stabilizer shot comes in the mail. So it is a few days later. I went online and onto Quadratech and I ordered this steering stabilizer from Skyjacker. I, was just, I just got something fairly cheap. I figured I don't need anything really expensive as far as steering stabilizers go for now. Uh, I was looking at the Fox one, but it was about 100 um, and then the adjustable one was $200. So um, that was out of the question. So I just got this one. I think this was 50 something dollars. So it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I was driving with no steering stabilizer for about a week and uh, I couldn't really tell a big difference just when I hit big potholes or I accidentally hit big potholes the, the wheel would jerk a little bit uh, more violently than with the steering stabilizer and that's what a steering stabilizer does it, it just buffs out a little bit of the steering let's go ahead and get into an unboxing of this uh, of the steering stabilizer shock and let's go ahead and try to knock out the rest of the of the install so this is what comes in the kit. You have 
the shock itself, a zip tie for this, uh, this boot, of course a decal for the shock or if you just want to put this on your Jeep somewhere, two bushings, and that's all. Um, these are the nuts. This one is for the tie rod clamp that I installed a few minutes ago, as you guys saw. And this is for uh, where the shock mounts up to the relocation bracket. So first we need to push these bushings into uh, the ends of the shock here. And the easy way I like to do is get a C-clamp like this and a socket. Now the socket has to be the same kind of the size that will match up with this end. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it'll just push it in evenly. Um, of course, you can use like a wood plank or something, something flat like that. But pretty much, you just want to push it in evenly. So you want to set up the shot right here, like this. Put it up against the back, and then put this like here. And of course, if you could just muscle it in, you know, you can do that. But this is an easy way. Uh, of course, you could use some grease; it would make it make it a little bit easier. But this process is super easy. But uh, just make sure you keep constant pressure and make sure it's lined up pretty much straight. There you go. And just like that, it is pushed in. This is what it looks like when the bushings are pushed in. Right there. Um, this was not really even, but uh, this will kind of even out when the bolt goes in. It'll, it'll kind of adjust it. Um, you can also get a rubber mallet and just hit them in but it's a little bit um, less safe, I guess. You can cut up the bushings and they might not go in straight, but usually these are, are just fine. The way they're angled and designed, you can just hit it in. I hit in uh, this one just to see what happened if you hit it with a hammer, as opposed to my uh, ghetto hydraulic press. But uh, yeah, anyways, we're gonna get this installed and then we're gonna button everything up with the shock boot and uh, with the sticker of course. Now this is actually really important. You want to go ahead and rip the e-brake and make sure your Jeep is on somewhat a level ground and your wheel is straight forward. So you want to go ahead and put the shock boot over the shock and uh, kind of there's a there's an open end and there's kind of a, a smaller end. The big, the big end goes over. Kind of just got to work it, you know. It takes a little bit of patience but eventually it gets there. So that's pretty much what it uh, it should look like. Um, kind of leave it like this on the end because uh, this will pull out a little bit. And then we'll zip tie it when everything's kind of put together. I will have to make a little modification here. I already started cutting it, but I had to cut off a little bit of uh, the end of the bushing here, or like the little metal sleeve, so it will fit in that Synergy relocation bracket. All right, so it's pretty much installed here. I figured it's pretty easy to put this one in first and then kind of use a hammer and force this one in, you know? And then I just had to hit down this bolt with the hammer also. Um, so now you're gonna torque these down to spec. 75 foot pounds here and 75 foot pounds here. Synergy tie rod clamp as well as the Synergy relocation bracket along with the Skyjacker suspensions 9000 steering stabilizer. So this is the old steering stabilizer. I'll probably just put this up for now just in case I need it as a spare or something like that. Uh, the shock still seems like it has a little bit of life in it. It doesn't look like it's leaking or anything.